everyone, this is Tim. We're in Pine Island, New York. We're building a beautiful pondless waterfall. We're about to start day one. We uh, got the machine down on the hill and realized that it was really, really slippery. So the hill was super slippery with all mud and we had to be very careful. We set a goal in the morning on the team and we actually got the pondless basin in the ground. And that's the reservoir that's gonna actually hold the water for the uh, waterfall. The basic steps to get the uh, basin in the ground, we started leveling off and leveling the ground out to the level of the patio. Um, that was the first thing to get our, our ground nice and level and dug out into the hillside. And then uh, once we had the ground all level, we were able to dig out into the hillside and then we actually excavated the ground down roughly about 24 inches to fit in the uh, large aqua blocks, um, which is what is the uh, containment that goes on top of the liner. We use a liner that's a 45 mil, it's a Firestone liner. And uh, when we're doing the pondless basins, we actually put a geotextile fabric underneath the liner as well as on top. And uh, what that does is protect the liner from the rocks and roots down below. And then it also all the pressure on top of the liner as we're setting boulders down, it gives us a nice cushion in between. We're on day two here. It is nice and warm. The guys are moving well. We started setting some large boulders as our base waterfall. Uh, we got some frame boulders out to each side and uh, we're just starting to work our way up the hill. We're also adding some boulders to the right side of the staircase. That way there's matching landscape from either side as you walk up the staircase from the back patio. Plan for the rest of the Finish the waterfall. <laughs> we're hopefully to get the waterfall mainly done by tomorrow, which would be Wednesday, uh, due to the fact that we do have some inclement weather coming in on Thursday. And uh, with the muddy hill, we would really like to get Pretty much almost done tomorrow. By the end of the week, we'll be back here adding a little bit of mulch, maybe hooking up some lights. We'll probably hold off for plantings for another couple of weeks until the weather starts warming up. So on day three, we uh, had a little hiccup in the morning. We were actually digging out and excavating the waterfall, the upper section. We wound up founding one of the downspout meters from the house. It's the uh, pipe that runs the water from the gutters out into the yard. And we hit that, so we had a little standstill I had to run out to the uh, plumbing place and get some fittings and get that fixed up. So that gave us a little bit of a, a hard start on Wednesday, but we kept hard at it. And uh, we got to the, almost to the top of the waterfall by the end of Wednesday in preparation for the rain that we were expecting on Thursday. So we were lucky actually on this project here to have a beautiful hillside, which able to give us a nice elevation. Um, with the elevation, we were able to scope out the hill. Sometimes we had to bring in soil but this time we didn't. We actually had to bring in a little bit of soil for the left-hand side of the waterfall. It would kind of like slope away so we could grade that out with uh, some character boulders. And then uh, for the rock placement, you know, you try to really be as sporadic as possible. A large boulder over here, a large boulder over here, maybe one up here. You don't want them all in a series, which a lot of people do. And that gets rid of the natural look. So a real big mixture from big boulders all the way down to small is very important when you're building a natural waterfall. Day four, we've mainly been working really, really hard on the final 20% of the project. Just kind of wrapping everything up. So as far as finishing touches on a project like this, you know, we start adding in different character boulders in the distances just to spread out the look of the waterfall. You really don't want the waterfall concentrated in the middle of all the rocks. Kind of, like I said before, you really want them out all over the place. And that kind of makes it blend into the hillside. Another trick that we did is we made the waterfall look like as it's turning. So one waterfall's facing this way, as another waterfall's facing that way to give you different views. Your viewpoint is from the center of the patio where they're gonna be entertaining, having all their guests. So you wanna make sure that the waterfall really encompasses the whole area. So I, I think we really got that done on this. Hope the homeowners love it. So I didn't get a project done like this in four days. Well, I can tell you it's not all by myself. It's because of my awesome teammates, Aaron, Jonathan, and unfortunately, Raphael, he had to take off today, but it's my teammates. All of us as a team at Garden State Koi is how we get this done in four days. <laughs>